what happened to mukesh yesterday could happen to any person this is the unfortunate reality of karnataka today what message is this government trying to give so the ones who are trying to do politics is the congress party here the government speaks of building brand bengaluru i want to ask the chief minister and the deputy chief minister you speak of building a cosmopolitan city you speak of building brand bengaluru how can you do so with this kind of a law and order situation what happened to mukesh yesterday could happen to any person sitting and going about his business honestly in a calm unprovoked manner anywhere in the city the cctv footage is clear he was sitting in his shop playing a bhajan on his bluetooth speaker he never even stepped out of his shopping uh, uh, his his uh, uh, shop premises of his shop unprovoked a few people come inside begin an altercation start an argument pull him outside of his shop and assault him grievously and the police and the state instead of supporting the victim giving him justice swiftly places the victim under house arrest contemplates filing of cases against the victim and those who want to support him and demand justice they are detained this is a unfortunate reality of karnataka today sir other side minister bengaluru is one of the most important economic centers of the country for fast paced development for maintaining the overall image of bengaluru as a progressive city as a city that is conducive to development investments progress startups which is what is the character of the of bengaluru as the city these kind of incidents must be nipped in the bud swift action must be taken otherwise what will happen to the city's image two weeks ago there was a bomb blast a week before that there were pakistani zindabad slogans and today you have these unprovoked attack on shopkeepers what message is this government trying to give why is it that whenever the congress party comes to power elements like these who want to create disturbance and disharmony in the society why do they feel emboldened and why is it that cabinet ministers like mr dinesh gundu rao come in the defense of the accused and do not stand up for the victims justice for once they must develop a spine and stand for justice sir mr dinesh gundu rao and many other cabinet ministers say that why mr tejasvi surya and the bjp leaders are utilizing a incident which is under the investigation that has been done for the political purpose there are not only muslims and hindu there were hindu boys were also there everybody will be taken into the task and cases will be booked and the investigation will be done sir first of all you must remember that the entire incident is captured in whole on cctv cameras this is not something that was cooked up or provoked by any person the whole of the incident is crystal clear available in cctv footage a young man going about his business in the premises of his shop unprovokedly was dragged outside and attacked what we are asking for is justice this is a demand for justice and what is the government trying to do the government instead of trying to give him swift justice is trying to defend those who have perpetrated this crime only because it suits its vote bank politics who is doing politics here we are asking the police to act in an unprofessional act in a professional manner in an unbiased manner in an impartial manner this is our demand what is politics in this second this is not the first time that this government and its ministers have come out in defense of the indefensible a few weeks ago 
when Pakistan Zindabad slogans were chanted and shouted in the presence of Vidhan Sauda, three cabinet ministers came in defense and said this has not happened. And the FSL report then belied the defense of the Congress ministers. A week thereafter, there was the bomb blast in uh, Rameshwaram Cafe. Even before the police gave any preliminary uh, um, reports, Congress ecosystem said that this is a cylinder blast. This happened due to an LPG cylinder blast. There is no terror angle. Why do you come in defense? Why do you jump? And when it was clear that it was a terror blast, they said, no, this must be a business rivalry angle. Why do you try to preempt investigation? Why do you try to guide the investigation in a particular manner that suits you? So the ones who are trying to do politics is the Congress party here. We are asking the investigative agencies to behave and conduct investigation in a professional manner. And it is unfortunate that the victim today is kept under arrest while one perpetrator, one accused is still roaming free.